What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob with ClicksGeek. If you are a first time viewer, welcome, welcome. All right, so today I got a case study for you guys, right? We are absolutely crushing Facebook ads in the junk niche right now. We're racking up a bunch of clients here. So we got a, a lot of data from a lot of different junk mobile companies from across the entire country. We got a system, we got it dialed in. So this is first 30 days results, okay? I'm gonna walk you through this guy's entire campaign. I'm gonna show you his ads, his targeting, everything. So copy this for yourselves, or you know, if you want us, if you want this system with us, then there's a link in the description, fill it out. We'll hop on a call and Justin will walk you through exactly how we run these ads, how we get results like this, and how we can get you running in 24 hours. So without any more, let's just get right into it. So last 30 days, July 16th to August 14th, this guy, local junk removal company, I forget what location he's in, but it's not like a gigantic market. So it's kind of surprising the amount of lead volume coming through. 68 leads. Now these are not name, email, phone number, okay? These are people who've seen the ad, who have clicked the ad, which opens up Facebook chat, Facebook Messenger, and then we walk them through a Messenger funnel, okay? This is a funnel, this is not going to a landing page. A lot of people get confused. This is, there is no landing page, there's no website. So we're doing all of this in Facebook chat, and we're basically, the message pops up and it says, would you like a junk removal quote, yes or no? If they click yes, they advance in the funnel. Great, what's your first name? My name's Rob. Hey, hey Rob, great. What's your uh, email? Thanks for that. What's your best phone number to reach you? I'm gonna give you a call. Great. Okay, what's the type of junk that you removed? All right, and on and on down the funnel it goes. So these are really qualified leads. They're not bullshit. The people who select no are obviously just, our system automatically shuts them off, shuts them down and just says not, you know, thank you for your time, pretty much, and ends the chat. So only yeses advance, and the only yeses that go to our client are the ones that go all the way through to the bottom of the funnel and basically drop into that yes bucket and finish. And then our system will automatically close out the Facebook chat with a uh, phrasing, which says something like, thanks, we'll give you a call in the next couple of minutes, or something like that. It depends, everyone's different, but something along those lines, right? Where we're just politely saying, thanks for your information, we're gonna give you a call shortly. And then we fire that off to our client via text message. It says, hey, you have a hot new lead from Facebook, call them ASAP, here's all their information. And we also email them too. So email and text message. Sorry, I got off on a tangent there before I even showed you the ads. I'm just excited about it because this is like crushing it for our guys right now. So 68 leads in the last 30 days at a cost per lead of 12 bucks, 13 bucks pretty much, $12.72. So that's absolutely awesome, right? And Google, you are not gonna get anywhere near $12 leads in junk removal, not possible. And you're gonna have to have a budget of at least bare minimum $150 a day, Monday through Friday, to run ads in Google. Ads in Google right now are costing about 50 to 57, $60 leads, all right? So that's how big of a win this is, guys, with Facebook ads. Facebook ads, we've seen junk removal leads anywhere from $8 all the way to 30, 40 range, depending on the market. The forty guys, the forty dollar guys, we can usually get them down into the twenties with some optimization. But yeah, it's it's going crazy right now, and the the system we got is crushing it. So his budget, it's not showing his budget. I want to say so he spent he only spent eight hundred and sixty bucks in the last thirty days, and he got all those leads. So I want to say his budget is about forty dollars a day, but it also runs seven days a week. So keep that in mind. You have to run seven days a week in Facebook when you're running Facebook ads. Now you can be successful with forty dollars a day easily. And if this guy wants more leads, all I have to do is scale his budget up from here. Now, if you want to run your own ads, I would highly suggest that you do not go below thirty dollars a day. All right, you're just you're not going to get great results, and it's just not going to work. So stay above thirty dollars plus, and you should be fine. All right, let's hop over into the ads, and I'll show you guys what we got going on. All right, guys, so we're looking at is the actual ad here. I got to blur out my clients' faces and their names and stuff like that for obvious reasons. But this is it. It's a very basic personalized ad all right so we have we always get pictures of the owner of the company with his crew or in front of his truck or on a job site doing something and we introduce the ad is not a salesy ad all 
right? This we want this to look like an organic Facebook post. That's why there's so much engagement, there's so much leads coming through is because people feel connected in their local community to these people. It's not some stock image of like a guy dropping a couch into a truck and then it says, get a quote now, no graphics all over the place. Like this is truly some basic marketing. It just works really well. So it says, you know, image of him and his crew or him and his partner and them in front of their truck and says, hi, my name is blank. I'm the proud owner of blank junk and junk removal. I serve, bop, 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 bop. You know, we're a member of the local community and da 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 da. So it's it's more of that type of ad copy where it's just talking like a real person. Okay, we're real people. We're not like some corporation trying to get you to come and do whatever. Like we're real people. It's them in their truck with like a thumbs up and doing all cool stuff. And the call to action is message me for details. They click send message. And again, like I said before, that opens up Facebook chat, Facebook Messenger, and we walk them through the Messenger funnel into becoming a lead and requesting a junk removal quote with our client. So there's no secret sauce here, right? We're just speaking to people as if we're real people. We're being authentic, okay? That's the key here. That is what is magic about these campaigns. And guys, it's not just junk removal. This works in pretty much every niche that we have running right now in Facebook ads. So this is what you wanna be doing with your campaigns. Now you might be wondering about, all right, the targeting, like what do I do with that? It's straight up broad targeting. All you're going to do is enter your location and that's it. Let Facebook's algorithm do all of the targeting for you. The creative is it's what's going to attract people to your offer. Okay. The creative is not the audience. Facebook will choose the audience based on their algorithm. Just put your offer out there, be real, be authentic, and you will crush it with these ads. Like I said, there's there's nothing magic here. Just people get confused with advertising. They think they got to like be super salesy and do all these things. And you don't just be a real person, especially these days. Everyone wants authenticity. Nobody wants to be like hard pitched to just say, hey, I'm John and I own XYZ junk removal. We serve this area, this area, this area. I'm a local member of the community. Here's a picture of me and my son or me and my wife or my family. And, you know, we do this and that. And if you want a fair and honest quote to get your junk removed, then please click the button below and we'll hop in chat and we can talk. Now, something else I should say, our clients are not responding to these people who come through the chat funnel. I should have said that from the beginning. The, we have an automation system that runs this. So our clients are never in Messenger trying to talk to people. Our clients only reach out to people after we pre-qualify them through our Messenger funnel and they get notified that a lead came through. So that should be clear here. We're not advocating you to individually message everyone who messaged you because a lot of the people are not going to be qualified to come through. So you only want to talk to the people who actually want a junk rule quote. Really important. All right, guys, that's all I got for this case study. I'm doing a few more junks today because we have a, this camp. This campaigns are just killing it right now. So I'm going to be pumping out more case studies to show you guys some different angles. One thing I do want to leave you with is do put pricing in the ad. So this guy's running three different ads. It's just one of the ads with one of the creatives. We really want to put pricing in your ads because that will get rid of price hesitancy on your sales calls. So we, a lot of our other guys, and I think in one of his other ads too, it says something like prices starting at 150 or 250 or whatever your minimum load is to pick up. You want to put that in the actual headline and the headline is right here, right? Where he says in this ad it says message me for details. You really want to put prices starting at and then your lowest tier barrier to entry. It's going to help you convert more of these into actual paid jobs, which is, you know, why we're all here. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. If you have a comment, drop it below.